Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 58, Star Wars, Heir to the Empire, by Timothy Zahn. This novel is book one in the Thrawn trilogy and part of the expanded Star Wars universe. Part of the reason I decided to read this book is the fact that the new Star Wars movie, Episode 7, is coming out next year thanks to Disney buying Lucasfilm. You can tell I wrote this a while ago. This review is from Wednesday, September 27th, 2014. It made me curious just what happened to the film characters in the novels all this time. Now, when I watch the films, I'll be able to pick up on any little Easter eggs they might throw in for the fans of the Star Wars novelizations that have kept the story going in the absence of movies all these years. It's probably not likely they'll use anything from the novels, as they've said they're only going to use the movies as canon moving forward, but I was still really curious. I'm really glad I decided to give this book a read and that I chose to consume it via audiobook. The author, Timothy Zahn, does a tremendous job with some of the most beloved characters known to science fiction fans. Honestly, I was a little hesitant to read this book because I have concrete ideas about who all the Star Wars characters are how they react to situations, the way they talk, the way they interact with others. They all felt very much like the characters I have come to love from the original Star Wars trilogy. Zahn also did a fantastic job developing some new characters that played a major role in this book. Of course, there is the Grand Admiral Thrawn, who the trilogy is named after. Zahn does a remarkable job of having this character come across as a terrifying individual, someone who is calm and calculating in the face of cataclysmic events, a person with enormous powers of reasoning and deduction, someone whose determination to see his plans come to fruition is unshakable no matter what setbacks may occur. Thrawn is a villain I loved to hate, and someone who came off as impressive, incredibly capable, and scary to me. Any story is much better when the bad guy, your hero's face, is an extremely formidable foe that sends chills down your spine. A person you would never want to meet in real life, even if you were on their side. I really enjoyed the character development of Grand Admiral Thrawn in this book, and I look forward to seeing him in action again when I read the next book. Another great character was a man named Talon Card. You hear rumors about him for a while before you meet him. Before he appears in a scene, you have a sort of reverence for him, and his reputation precedes him. When you get to see him in action, he lives up to all the hype. I loved Card's interaction with some of my favorite characters. All the favorites are in this book. R2-D2, C-3PO, Leia, Han, Lando Calrissian, Luke, Wedge Antilles, Admiral Akbar, and of course, Chewbacca, whose homeworld you get to visit. <laughs> Sorry about that, I couldn't resist. The courage and bravery of the good guys in this book was exciting to read. There were a lot of slow scenes where big parts were moving, and a lot of exhilarating action scenes. The book has a lot. I can think of intimate scenes where you get to see what it's like for Luke and Leia to use the Force, where quiet scenes between characters where not much is happening, but a lot is going on emotionally and internally. This novel had to be done this well because it handles some of the most loved characters of all time in a universe that fans around the world are crazy about. Timothy Zahn more than pulled it off. I'm so excited there are two more books, and that I will get to watch new Star Wars movies in the theaters with my kids. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry, that was nothing to do with this book. I'm just excited. Last but not least... 
I can't end this review without touching on how fantastic the audiobook version is. I listened to the 20th anniversary edition, narrated by Mark Thompson. Mark's ability to voice all the characters so well was nothing short of brilliant. The guy does all the voices spot on, and there are a lot of characters in this book. Major props to him from one newbie inexperienced audiobook narrator to a veteran pro. I can't stress enough how good of a job Mark Thompson did narrating this book. He makes this audiobook come alive as a sort of audio play, but all acted out by one man with a thousand voices. His versatility as a narrator is something you just can't miss. This audiobook also had much more production than any other professional audiobook I have heard. There were always complex weavings of sounds making up the background atmosphere of the scenes. You always knew if the characters were at a spaceport, on a ship, or deep in a forest. From massive, epic space battles, to quick action scenes with intense fighting, to quiet moments where hearing R2-D2's emotive beeps to Luke make you feel like you're right there in the Star Wars universe. This audiobook is easily one of the most entertaining listens I have ever experienced. I can't wait to get the next book in the Thrawn Trilogy. Fantastic. I have some great news for you guys, the listeners of this podcast, which is sponsored by Audible. And because of that, you can get a free audiobook. I would highly recommend Star Wars Heir to the Empire, the first in the Thrawn trilogy, narrated by Mark Thompson and written by Timothy Zahn. You just heard me tell you how fun and entertaining it was to listen to, and now you can go get it for free. Now you can get any audiobook of your choice if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. You get one free audiobook and a 30-day free trial of their membership. And you can choose any audiobook. They pretty much have them all there. But I highly recommend this one. So check it out. Heir to the Empire, narrated by Mark Thompson. Fantastic audiobook. Really well-written book by Timothy Zahn. Audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. And when you go there and get a free audiobook and start a free 30 day trial, you're helping support the show. So thanks to you and thanks to Audible. Now, let's get back to that review. Oh man, this book was fantastic. Check this book out. Uh, even if you grab it in ebook or paperback, it's a fantastic read, but. Seriously, even if you're not really a fan of audiobooks, you should really check this out. Uh, one of my friends, he's trying to get into audiobooks, and he commented that it was a little hard for him to listen because just one voice narrating a book seemed a little kind of dry to him. To me personally, I, I mean, I'm really used to it because I do it all the time, but I love that because it just helps me really focus on the story, whereas with a whole bunch of different narrators or different voices it's way more fun to listen to but sometimes it's a little hard to just pay attention to the story because you're so in awe of all the cool different character voices going on in this case though since star wars is just a universe you know so well it would be tragic if you weren't hearing characters you love in uh voices that you know they sound like because everyone knows what they sound like and like I said, Mark Thompson, so talented, so good at doing so many different kinds of voices. You just have to listen to it to find out what I'm talking about. And his just his normal narrator voice is really compelling too. Like even if this guy just did a straight read with just his own normal voice, it would have been a great audiobook. But he goes way above and beyond by just throwing in a different voice, just entirely different for each character and it was fantastic. I loved it. I had so much fun listening to it. I really need to go get that second book. It's a little hard because they're not canon anymore, so they're not official Star Wars with all the new movies coming out, but uh, anyway. Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. I'll be reviewing that sometime. That was a Star Wars book that's newer that is canon and was fantastic. It's kind of a young adult, but so good. Anyway, 
that's all I got for you guys. I hope you're having a great year of reading in this. It's just now early March as I record this. So, yeah. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at Incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.